Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus here again. The same morning, another thought. Just want to share it with you. You remember when Moses had uh, taken the Hebrew children, supposedly, out of Egypt land to take them to uh, the promised land? Well, you remember the part where Moses went up on the mountain. He came back with the Ten Commandments. Well, while he was gone, the depiction inference is that the people began amongst themselves discussing things that they were familiar with. And uh, they were out in the middle of uh, nowhere with nothing per se except what they were able to just pull up from what they brought with them. And maybe I would guess something that they found wherever they were. But here is what I see as the problem. It is the same problem that you see when you say that uh, the Israelites expected the Messiah and they rejected Jesus because they expected Jesus to come a different kind of way than it was recorded that he came. Supposedly they were looking for a deliverer to come on some big power thing. In that day, they didn't call it a spaceship. They called it a white horse, but with power. And apparently, I guess it was going to take care of all of the Israelites' enemies. That didn't happen. It's the same thing that happens when you see people pray on the sick and they expect this immediate recovery. Well, see, when the people came out of Egypt going to the promised land about this big God that was able to part the sea, they were expecting to walk into, you know, when you go traveling sometimes and you see a big, nice hotel, you never stopped at big, nice hotels. You had to go to Super 6 or something like that. But now you had an exclusive, and it didn't cost as much as you thought it was going to cost. But when you go in there, you say, wow, this is something else. I didn't even know they had this kind of stuff. Well, see, they were kind of expecting to walk into the promised land, already prepared for them. They didn't understand that they were walking into freedom with the ability, the authority to do and accomplish anything that they wanted to accomplish, hell or heaven. And so since what they expected did not appear, then they went back to the old way of thinking in this way and that way and this way and that way and no one getting any place. So they tried to find something center that they could all focus on to a certain degree. And this is where the fate, the calf come up from. To say that they'll put their focus on the calf and everybody be on the same page, even though they would still have their different directions. And that basically depicts what's going on in the world today. And the reason that I wanted to mention that is that even today, we are not going to walk into any promised land where everything is prepared. I don't know how we got that idea. Maybe it was something easy for us to believe because they took the responsibility out of our hands and put it in someone else's. When we're waiting, we're just suffering. And you can bet your last money, the reason we're waiting is because there's someone else doing nothing. The responsibility is ours. If we want peace, we got to bring peace. If we want prosperity, we got to bring it. If we want freedom, we got to bring it. If we want joy, we got to bring it. If we want our dreams to come true, we got to bring it. And when I say we, that means all of us. That means we must engage ourselves. We're not on this urge to just sit down and sleep. We're on this earth to live, to bring our joy to the earth, that the earth might be made better because of you and you and you, or should I just say, because of us. That's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. And this thing, it is so hard. I was 28 years old one time, and that's when I began this interest <clears throat> of making an effort to be instrumental in seeing, beginning with America, the world change. Change in where no one would have to suffer with a lack of food, clothing, or shelter, or education, 
or health care, and that we would all be engaged in making stuff. And that made us all part owners. We get our residuals. We can access the goods and services as we need, want, or desire. Nobody's selling us anything. Nobody boss but God. We have a system set up to make sure that heaven is maintained. But no boss, nobody big and ass can go up to the out of space while we sitting down here hungry, couldn't even eat last night. No, that stuff is in the world of 